Are you you how long did you try to get me to walk for? Months. Yeah. And it took me months to even. I I never did it. I did like two or three times, and it's just. It was so scary to me to start that you live in California. This is how fucking this. You're a Jew. I love you to fucking death. You right. guys are supposed to be the top of the fucking pinnacle. We are geniuses. You live in California, but you decide to walk inside. Right, like ten thousand fucking Californians. Because I, can, I, wa- go to the I can watch TV on the other. Yeah, like, you want TV? You're not supposed to watch TV. You're supposed to watch fucking life. People running red lights. Fucking cats running across the street. I want you to think about that. People are dying from lack of vitamin C because you fucking vitamin guys D, yeah. live over here. You go to a gym. You walk like fucking momos. And meanwhile, it's eighty degrees outside. Vitamin D is the number one killer of obesity. Did you know that? Oh, it, it was is. just fucking in London. There's no fucking fat people. They started giving them vitamin D. People started losing weight. I'm on it. I drank a gallon of it today. A vitamin D? Fuck yeah. It comes in little containers. I ate oh, the whole thing. Oh, it doesn't make sense, but it's better than me sitting on the couch for You're not going to sit on the couch. You I used to. You go to North Hollywood Park. You put a 20-pound dumbbell on your back, and you walk <laughs> around like a fucking savage eight times. You do that five days a week. You see how many pounds you lose. And you'll be a dark-skinned Jew. I, I don't tan. I go from the whitest of the white to burnt and then back to white. It'll be like Sammy Davis. What the fuck? Get it together, dog. It's a beautiful day to be alive. It you is. were inside for an hour. You could have been outside for an hour grabbing vitamin D with your iPod, listening to the fucking band you listen to. Jumping up and down? Jumping up and down. Yeah. How was your day? I had a nice day. I took Mercy to the park about 8 o'clock, walked around for about 10. Did you play with the fire ants? That's the funniest thing. No, I didn't take it to the fire ants today because we don't even go to that park no more. She's bored of that fucking park. Did your kid get hit with fire ants? My kid got hit with fire ants. That's how I take her out of there. You, you don't tell want to leave. You tell her this I take it to the fire ants. I take it to the fire ants. He plays around. She gets one. Then she goes, ah, ah, and let's go. I pick her up, and it's out of there. You got this American ingenuity, though. You got to be on top of things. Nick Santor in the fucking house tonight. How are Writer, you? Writer, executive producer, ex-attorney. Names with a gangster. People confuse you. Your credit's all fucked up. No, my uh, my credits are good. This is this is a Nikki the Mouth. Is it Nikki the Mouth or Nikki Big Mouth? I think it's Nikki the Mouth. I don't know. Nikki the Mouth Santor. I'm pretty sure it's Nikki the Mouth. He I'm was in a Lo- banana guy. I believe so. Yeah, right. he was banana. Yeah, he was banana. He was a banana guy. And he's still alive. Is my right. Name. He's yeah. still alive. Uh, I think the last I heard, he was in Chicago. But uh, but I but what the hell do I know? I don't know. I don't know the man. But I do know. I'm in a million years ago. I'm in law school up in New York. I get a phone call one day. Hello, hey N- Nikki, I'm out. I go, who who, who the hell is this? Like, oh, I'm out. I'm like, who the fuck? I just hang up. I don't know who the hell it is. Phone rings two seconds later. Hello. Hey, Nick, I'm out. You told me to call you when I'm out. I'm, I'm out. I go, who the f- fuck you? I hang up the phone because I don't know who it is. Two seconds later, phone rings again. I pick it up. He goes, don't hang up. Don't hang up. He's like, Nikki, you told me that when I got out, I should call you. I go, oh, you're looking for the other Nikki Santora. I go, um, congratulations on, 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 on your release. I go, I am not that Nikki Santora. I go, I'm actually a, a law student. I swear to God, there's a beat of silence. The guy goes, do criminal law I go, no. I go I don't have my law degree yet I go you got the wrong guy this is a di- he must have just looked me up you know in New York I don't know why he's looking up in New York or whatever <clears throat> and then uh, a few years later I had an, I, an aunt God rest her soul who, who passed away and, and I think she left me like two thousand dollars and I didn't know what to do with it so I knew a guy I don't know what to do with it but you know I knew a guy I wanted to do something smart and I knew a guy whose dad was like in a, he worked at like Prudential I don't even know what he did at Prudential and he said, oh, yeah, he'll put, he's like a stockbroker. He's like, oh, yeah, he'll put you in a mutual fund. So he opens a $2,000 mutual fund. The next day, and this guy was like a you know, lower-level guy. Next day, he gets a phone call. Come up to the 37th floor. 37th floor is all the executives, all the VPs, all like the head guys. He goes up there. He's never been called up to the 37th floor in, in his entire life. He goes up there, conference table, surrounded by guys. They put, he sits down, and they go, what the hell are you opening up? an account for Nick Santora for. And he goes, what are you talking about? He's like, for $2,000, it's such a small amount. Clearly, he's looking to see if he can open small accounts, maybe launder some money, blah, blah, blah. He's like, what are you talking about? They go, this guy's a gangster. He goes, this, this is a kid that my, guy, that my son went to school with. What are you talking about? They're like, no, 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 no. You, this is the wrong guy. And he had to show him my, my, my social security number, my birth certificate, all this stuff, that it was a different Nick Santora. Every once in a while, it pops up. No, for years, every time I saw his name, I'm like, ah. Oh. Or I saw your name, I kept thinking, oh, look at this fucking guy. He became a writer now. Yeah, so, you know what's funny is there's, there's a lot of Nick Santoras. Santora in Italy, it's like Smith. It's not, it's not, maybe not like Smith, but it's not a, 
an uncommon name. There's a fair amount of Santoras in the country, in America, and, and there's uh, I've come across a lot of Nick. There's a Nick Santora who's like a world famous skateboarder. There's a bunch of there's a bunch of them. Every once in a while, I'll get an email from one of them. I'll be like, "Hey, I saw your name on TV. That's my name. Oh, what do you want me to do about it?" Is he a famous mob? Like, how did you know he was a mobster? Like, did he find out one day, or how did I know? Yeah. Because I got a call from a guy in prison. But no, but did you know that? Oh, no. I, 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 you know, you just knew from, you know, if you grow up with this name the same as the mobster, eventually someone just tells you and it just bled uh, in. And then Casino came out and there was Nikki Santoro in Casino and people thought that uh, was me. And How did they get famous? Like, I've never even thought about it. But like, how did all the big mobsters get famous? Like, in, back in like the 40s. Singing. Really? <laughs> from fucking being mobsters. From being mobsters. <laughs> I know, but it's like... I don't, the Nicky Santoro we're talking about was a banano guy. Yeah. He was a big time banana. In fact, he still is a big time. Like, he's the only... There's like maybe three guys left from that Donnie Brasco, and he's still walking around somewhere. He could be out here. Every once in a while, I go somewhere, and somebody will come up to me and go, hey, uh, you know, this guy over here in the gym, this is this guy. Like, who's in Beverly Hills now? Donnie Shacks. I got no yeah, idea. Yeah, so everybody yeah. knows he's in town. He's trying to put a reality show together. <laughs> Guy's 70 years old. So I finally got a call about a year ago that uh, you should come down and audition for Nikki's uh, whatever, Montemoro, whatever his fucking name is, reality show. It's going to be called something about the neighborhood, and he's going to take care of problems in Beverly Hills. What, what the fuck? You know, when does it end? So they started coming out here. There's a bunch of them. What's Did you the believe guy Whitey was, Bulger was here for how many Whitey years? Whitey Bulger, but he didn't say nothing. But the other guy was right in Studio City. Ubats. These Listen. Sal Ubats used to have coffee at Marie ETC every day. He just moved. He just moved recently. Well, these guys, look, they, they, they did their thing. They did their time. They came out of it. Now they just want to live the good life in California. And they want to, you know, they actually want to walk around outside and enjoy the sunshine, Lee. Well, they want to sell their story. <laughs> You know, I understand why they want to move It's too late to here. sell your fucking story now. Like they, they've heard 85 fucking stories. Right. Now they want to come out. They were a mafia. They carried envelopes. That's too fucking late. Where were you 10 years ago? We were buying. Right. Yeah, I get I get people pitch me mob stories all the time. I try to tell them, I go, there's no sale. I can't make them. I don't have the money to make the movie. You know, you got to go to the studio. And, no, they don't want them. Really? And they're dead, they're dead at the studio. It seems dead. like every three years there's a new mob dead. thing. No. Dead. Well, dead. now they, they got Whitey Bulger, but that's because... Yeah. Uh, what's his name? Is not it? He's well, they got that. they got the Depp one. They got the Affleck one. They got competing, and they're, they're all messed up. I don't know what's going on with those. Right. So no, the the one is shooting. The the Donnie Depp one right. is shooting. That's done already, probably. It's the other one, you know. Because it, the other thing is, I get called once a month. Once a month, I get a call or an email. Can you look at the script? And uh, as soon as I see Nikki, mm. Joey, S- Joey, Sal. I, that's it. We're going in like fucking Marines. You understand me? Welcome to church, motherfucker.